So I'll show you how to add a simple unit test. Yes, it is a controller, but uh, at the very least, it's still a function. So we can just call this function, right? And we can generate a test uh, right there and then. Uh, test. Let's click the default. Uh, and then we want to add the spring runner for that one. Spring boot test, maybe. And add and add spring boot test. Let's see, add that test annotation there. Uh, return void test. What do we want to test? That hello. Um, should hello volleyball player should return hello something something okay so first we will need to auto wire the volvo resource which our controller is located and let's do an assertion that the volvo resource hello volvo player is empty but we don't want it empty though right let's see and make sure you import this assert jcore api for assert that click run check mark we want to see what it looks like system print and maybe just copy that over for now as we are lazy click run it says false uh, because it's empty it's not empty i just want to see inside of it let's see and hello volleyball player we can do a better job by let's add uh, a logging a popular logging library it's called sl4j slf4j and let's see add long block to class path let's see if we can download that dependency though sl4j okay then let's see if we can use that instead log info okay so we actually added a logger there as you can see the default is it's in info level there's debug warning and error and you would see which uh class it came from and what right i can actually add additional stuff here and say a function executed in tests you can do something like that Let's see that's it 